Hey there everyone, it's Kim from KimIBrinkJansen.com. I'm coming to you live from my hotel room in Perth. Let me just quickly show you my beautiful view. Oh wow, yes, it is divine. <clears throat> this is a regular place that we come to when we come to Perth. So. Yeah, it's a pretty special hotel, it's the Novotel, so if anyone ever's coming to Perth, want to come to a good hotel, Novotel's a good one. So, um, today, what I'm actually, oh, thank you for my love heart, that's gorgeous. Um, today, what I want to talk about is losing weight. Um, hi, Karen. Um, the reason why I want to do that is because ever since I was a child, I have been what you probably might call overweight <clears throat> and God, it's a bit bright here by this and um, I remember when I was five I was put on a diet um, when I was five so um, for as long as I can remember hi darling hi Cassie um, for as long as I can remember I've always um, either been on a diet losing weight in my teenage years I actually didn't eat I, I used to see eating as a as a, um, a weakness and um, consequently it actually just made my metabolism completely shot and so you know literally since my last child I have put on 30 kilos so I've been struggling with weight struggling with diet struggling with everything forever for as long as I can remember the one thing I want to share with you well, actually there's a few things because I just love talking there's one thing I want to share with you um, which has absolutely changed everything and I hope that it helps someone. Someone did tell me once, I can't say who it is and if anyone remembers please um, tell me below, um, that we just have to trust that our body knows what it's doing and as soon as I was told that I was like wow that is so powerful. We just have to trust that our body knows what it's doing and what happens then is it actually releases or the stress that we have around having to lose weight and just to be happy with what what we have um, and to have our bodies just working for us and to trust it. So as soon as you start trusting your body, you then really relax around the whole weight thing and you go, no, no, it's happening for a reason and I trust it. So I, I changed my philosophy around how I felt around being overweight or whatever. And I just, every time I started thinking about it, I was like, no, no, I just trust my body, I just trust it. And what started happening is I found that my eating habits completely changed. So I, I literally just all I can eat really now is salads and fruit. Anything else, my body just feels sick. I feel really unwell, really sick. And I literally cannot eat anything else. So that's why I've been prompted to talk about it today because I've just had lunch, I've just made myself a salad. I've been living on salad and fruit for over a month now. Initially for the first three weeks, I did not lose a kilo, but it didn't matter because I didn't actually eat that way because I wanted to lose weight. I just could not stomach anything else. Um, and now I, I maybe eat a little bit of chicken with it, maybe a little bit of egg, but apart from that, I just can't eat anything else. And the message I got around that is that there's a lot of people who have food allergies and um, a lot of issues with eating. And what we need to do is we just need to trust that our body knows what it's doing. And as soon as you trust that it knows what it's doing, it'll actually guide you as to, and I saw it's universally guide you, as to what your body's meant to eat. The thing that you need to do is you need to just listen and act. So um, I've been feeling amazing for the last month. Um, I really am not tempted to eat anything that's outside of that you know, fruit and veggie kind of arena. Um, anything processed, I try and keep away from anything processed. Um, the other thing that I've found it's really helpful is not to be judgmental of people who do eat those things. Again, let go of it and just trust that this is your journey, it's just not their journey. Um, and this is just the way that the universe is guiding you to look after yourself, is to listen to your body and to listen to what it can eat. And this is where I want everyone who does have food allergies and limits with food um, to actually embrace it and say, yep, no, my body knows what it's doing and it's I'm, I'm trusting and I'm going to trust it from now on. Uh, I jumped on the scales last night and I've lost three kilograms in a week. Now, it doesn't really matter 
doesn't matter to me. I, it's kind of just confirming that yes, I do feel very good, that my clothes are kind of starting to hang off for me. Um, but again, I'm not eating for that reason. I'm eating for the reason that I trust my body, trust that it knows. And I, I'm trusting that it doesn't matter what anyone says about dietitians or anything like that. If I don't actually feel like eating it, and if I get a big reaction to eating something, I'm not going to eat it anymore. And my body is really reacting badly to anything that it doesn't want. So I'm actually really grateful to my body for, act, for, for saying to me, no, we're not eating processed food. And when you eat processed food, I'm going to make you feel sick. And to be grateful and to trust it, it really feels great. So try it. You really have to listen and act to how your body reacts with food, um, what it likes, what it doesn't like. And even if it's not part of any kind of diet regime or anything like that, I still actually have a coffee a day with two sugars. <laughs> Sometimes three, yeah, three, yes. <laughs> My friends know sometimes I have three. But again, I don't care because I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm sure one day that'll change again. And that's okay because there's no right or wrong, good or bad. In a universal world, there is no limitations and there is no rules. So start your own diet. Start your own way of living. Listen to your body and actually allow it to tell you what it likes. And when you really start to do that, it will be very forceful in keeping you on track. And I know whenever I go off track, I do feel really unwell, which creates a muscle memory for me to just go, yeah, nah, <laughs> I, can't do that. I can't eat those things anymore. And I'm okay with it. I feel awesome. And it actually is making the things like salad and fruit seem really delicious because... I don't know, my taste buds have changed, my body's changed, and I'm, in, I'm excited to see where this journey takes me for someone who has struggled with their weight all their life. So passing that on to you, um, maybe comment below or join me on my, on my Facebook group, which is Unlimited, sorry, not Unlimited, Universal Abundance, or you can jump onto my website, which is Kim Ibrink Jansen. Uh, dot com and yeah, post below if you guys have got any thoughts about you know what your body likes and what it doesn't like Karen saying after 36 years being the same weight I can't argue with my body yeah just that it all sort itself out I have to say by by getting that information just to trust that it knows what it's doing it such a relief I just love it and so if I can hand that on to you guys then you just trust and listen but now my eating habits have changed dramatically since doing that and I feel awesome so handing that on to you guys eat whatever you want do whatever you want and coming to you live from Perth I'll just show you my beautiful view again if you didn't get to see it earlier Sharing the beauty of the universe, the beauty of the earth, the beauty of the planet. And um, yes, enjoy your lovely weekend. I will enjoy my weekend too. I'll come live tomorrow from the Perth Aquatic Center. Um, don't know what I'm going to say. I'll find out what's coming up. It is beautiful, isn't it, Karen? We get these rooms nearly every time and it's divine. So, so thanks for joining me. Um, any comments below, please share your experiences with food. And um, I'm coming live from the Perth Aquatic Centre tomorrow. So I'll see you there. Mwah. Love you. Bye.